Have you ever wondered what this adventure van world is all about? Well, today I'm in San Juan Capistrano. I'm going to try to show you guys all the coolest stuff when it comes to building out these adventure vans, along with some of the makers that already do really cool vans. Uh, we'll visit some friends. We'll show some cool products. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> customer that had a van that these covers aren't available for but they wanted us to make them for it was an older van. Purchased a van, we made a nice sofa in there, finished the interior really good and we're camping on their first vacation and uh, with the tinted windows they turned the lights on because they figured nobody can see inside and we change the clothes. So Sheila, she's a very attractive woman um, and uh, uh, decided to change her clothes and when she changed her clothes uh, she happened to notice that that she could see the people outside, but she's confident that they can't see her inside, not realizing that with the lights inside the camper, uh, make everything totally more visible outside. She's nude and everybody, she's giving everybody a TV show, a movie outside her van. Did Bill finally buy a, a Sprinter van that we're working on today? There's covers in the new van. John with Owl and I am standing inside of our brand new trailer. Uh, the team affectionately refers to it as our NASCAR trailer. It is actually our show trailer and it has been uh, both a curse and a blessing. It's uh, wonderful because it allows us to show off a lot of our parts. We've got like these cool light displays from the bar. People can finally see and touch the visors without having to get in someone's van. We can show off some of our cool machine products. Here's a really cool design we're thinking about doing where it's got a topo map on a wheel spacer that you'll never see, but we thought it looked cool. But uh, yeah. the trailer itself, the whole idea was to have something that we could bring to a show, have a really cool area to display our parts and not have a ton of setup time. And so we bought this trailer with all these open sides and then realized once we owned it that it was structurally not very stable. So our guys actually and gals built an entire roll cage for the trailer. So it's much stronger now. And the, the cage that we built doubled as a way to mount all of these racks, which of course have the same design as our Sherpa plates, that hole and slot design that we kind of uh, pioneered with our Sherpa. And then, uh, yeah, we have the different vendors set up. Here we have all our van compass stuff. These are, these are kind of cool. This is, uh, if your Sprinter van was like four feet long, or not even like two feet long, these are skip plates. So Van Compass made miniaturized versions of their skid plate, miniaturized version of their fuel skid plate for our wall. All kinds of cool stuff. Agency 6, this is going to be Canyon over here. They haven't, uh, Jason has not delivered his parts yet. Jason, if you see this video, <laughs> what's happening here, my friend, we've got stock and stays and nothing else. But he's going to have a whole spot in the back for lots of Canyon stuff. And yeah, so this is our first show with the full trailer and kind of tried to make a big welcoming area. So if you're at a show and you want to come see Owl and see these parts, turn on some lights, blind yourself, let me know, stop on by. A lot of people have asked why Owl moved from Northern California to Arizona. And I am uh, born and bred Northern Californian. There's biking and hiking and it's just so outdoorsy. I love it. But the same thing is true of Arizona, and the honest reason we moved is we needed space and people. A lot of people, knee-jerk reaction, oh, you moved to get out of California taxes. Everyone likes paying lower taxes, but the real reason we moved to Arizona is we needed a lot more space and a lot more people, and thus far it has been fantastic. We can drive out our back door, there's fantastic wheeling, the desert is absolutely beautiful and the team thus far is firing on all cylinders. So if you want to come visit us down in Mesa in Arizona and see how the sausage, or in this case, 
the tire carrier is made. Come have a visit. Hey guys, this is Dave with Bossy Vances, my family. This is Lizzie, my wife Molly, my son Christian, who you all know, he's always on the face forefront of my videos, uh, Annabella. We are located in sunny Southern California. So I got into the fire knife. Um, Actually, we used to go to the Luau's all the time and I was like, man, that thing's freaking amazing. Actually, I started off doing hula. Um, I did hula lessons for like two years and all the little kids were actually doing fire knife and all these kids were like super good. And they're like, hey, Dave, Dave, you want to do fire knife? I'm like, nah, nah, I don't want to do that. I just like hula dancing. I kind of just one day figured, hey, I'm just going to try it. And then I got really hooked onto it. So I've been doing it uh, kind of continuously for about a year now. And now I get it to uh, pretty much soaked in fuel to where, yeah, I feel the fire on my arms now. It's fun. Yeah! 